I made a video a few weeks ago about how I know Atlantis is coming to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Since then, I've received a lot of comments about stuff I never even realized. So today, I want to share with you every clue about Atlantis in Disney Dreamlight Valley including my own theory based on the evidence at hand. The first clue we have is this symbol in our inventory. This symbol is actually a letter from the Atlantean alphabet, the letter E. In the movie Atlantis, Milo has a journal from his grandfather about Atlantis, which is labeled in the same alphabet. But it's really interesting that the makers of Disney Dream Valley have labeled this as ancient civilization instead of just Atlantis. But let's keep that in mind for now and move on to our next clue, which are all the Atlantean ancient ruins found throughout the valley. The most obvious ones are found in the lake in the Glade of Trust, but you can also find the same ruins in the Vitalis Mines in the Sunlit Plateau, in Merlin's house, in Ariel's house, in Elsa's cave, in the cave in the Frosted Heights, and in the cave on Dazzle Beach. To me, it makes perfect sense there are ruins in Merlin's house because he likes to research things, so I believe Merlin has been studying the ruins and trying to uncover where they came from and what they mean. Perhaps he already knows. Ariel makes sense too. She likes to collect things from the human world, and I'm sure Atlantis being underwater, she could easily get her hands on those ruins. The rest of the ruins seem more like natural occurrences to me though, as if they had already been there and not collected by a villager. It's also very interesting, but unsurprising, that all the places the ruins appear are directly adjacent to some body of water. The lake in the Glade of Trust, the waterfall in the mines, the pond in the Forest of Valor, the river in the Frosted Heights, and the ocean on Dazzle Beach. The makers of Dreamlight Valley really paid attention to every detail. Nothing is a coincidence. Besides the ancient ruins and both being adjacent to water, there's another thing that both the cave in Frosted Heights and the cave on Dazzle Beach have in common, and that is crystals. We used crystals in the gameplay to unlock parts of both caves. In the movie Atlantis, crystals are incredibly important and are both the life and the energy source of the Atlantean people. It's also relevant to note that some of the ruins glow while others do not. Perhaps this has something to do with the crystals, but it's still unclear at this time. Now, remember I mentioned the ancient civilization symbol being an Atlantean letter? Well, the doorway to the cave in the Frosted Heights also has Atlantean writing. The letters here spell the word enter. We learned in Olaf's quest in update 3 that this cave actually belongs to us, the player. But why would our cave use Atlantean writing? To answer that, we need to reflect back. As we know, we are the ruler of Disney Dume Valley, and from the beginning of the game, we've been collecting diary pages from our own lost diaries. These pages are also written in Atlantean. Does this mean that our character comes from Atlantis? Or is it possible that throughout the years, we've just learned Atlantean and have now chosen it as our primary form of communication? Let me know what you think on that in the comments. But that's not all. These small stones found in the cave on Dazzle Beach are also written in Atlantean. I think the cave on Dazzle Beach warrants further discussion. At the bottom of the cave, you see this, which I mentioned in my previous video. To me, this looks like a doorway that's currently being blocked. I am 100% confident that this will be a door that we unlock in the future of the game. Now forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember using this small pedestal to the right of the doorway, so I'm thinking that we'll have to place something upon here and it'll unlock the door for us to pass through. I believe that this doorway will lead us to Atlantis and we'll find new characters to join our valley, maybe both Milo and Kida, who are currently trapped in there. But what is with all these ruins and hints thrown throughout the valley? I have a theory that before Disney Jumai Valley was founded, another civilization lived here, an ancient civilization. And those were the people of Atlantis. I believe that our character, the founder of Disney Jumai Valley, was part of that ancient Atlantean civilization. But something happened that destroyed it, similar to the events of the movie Atlantis. And everyone was lost except for us. Then, when the Disney characters started to arrive, we welcomed them and built a new community, Disney Jumai Valley. Because of the forgetting, we've lost all our memories of Atlantis. But one day, something will happen which will restore them again. Perhaps some of our Atlantean friends will return or will unlock some memory orbs through gameplay and ask Merlin about it, who, like always, knows all the answers. For something that hasn't been announced in the game yet, there sure have been a lot of clues about Atlantis. This makes me suspect that Atlantis will be part of a very big storyline in Disney Dream My Valley, and I for one cannot wait to see what it is. Thank you all for watching, and if you've made it this far, write Merlin in the comments. 
I still have more clues about Atlantis to discuss, so I'll be posting a part two to this video on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.